Hey guys, how's it going? Sev here, and today for you I have a hunter's guide. Today's hunter guide is at request of a couple of guildies that I have, a couple of viewers, uh, just asking how to be better hunters and how I do some of the insane amount of bursts that I can do from time to time. Um, so I'm here putting it in a series of guides for you guys and uh, see if I can help make you guys better hunters. Today's guide is going to be based on Stampede. Stampede, for those of you who do not know what Stampede is, which is pretty sad, is uh, Stampede is a move that all hunters learn at level 87. What Stampede does is summons all of the hunter's pets and causing it to attack your current target for 20 seconds dealing 175% of their normal damage while summoned this way. That's actually not the case in RBGs and arenas. The damage is dumbed down and it's taken down to 75% and if you guys haven't seen my last video on the 5.4 hunter changes I'm going to put an annotation on the screen for you to click and to be able to go back and just see what's going on for us. It's going to tell you though that Stampede's going to change any world PvP or just world environment stuff as is is going to be at 175 so that's phenomenal for world PvP purposes. But aside from that let's go over the first topic what pets should you guys be using for Stampede? The first pet that I recommend, well not the first that I recommend, but one of the pets I recommend is the Serpent. The Serpent is going to provide you with a real nice buff. This buff is Serpent's Swiftness. Increases the melee and ranged attack speed of all party members within 100 yards by 10% for two minutes. That is phenomenal. So when he comes out, he's going to give you that buff. But really, he needs to be refreshing that buff because what you should be doing at the beginning of every single arena is you should bring him out, buff yourself with this, and then switch to the next pet that we're going to be looking at. And our next pet is going to be the Quillin. The Quillin's going to hook you guys up with Fearless Roar. What Fearless Roar is going to provide for you is going to be increased critical strike chance of all party members by 5% for 2 minutes. That is off the hook. That helps out a lot. Real nice for burst and insane amounts of damage. That's how Daddy does it. and That's how you should do it too. Um, so yeah, he's going to come out and he's going to hook you up with that buff. Uh, we'll refresh it because you're going to want to start that, like I said, with the Serpent at the beginning of your round. Uh, preferably when the countdown starts at 20, you're getting ready to, to use that. Um, let's move on to the next pet real quick. The next pet is going to be the Goat, the greatest of all time. No, he's not really the greatest of all time, but what he provides for you is Trample. What Trample is going to do is it's going to um, it's going to decrease the spell cast speed. Sorry, couldn't uh, couldn't get my train of thought for a second. He's going to uh, decrease the spell cast time by 25% on all player targets for 12 seconds. That's going to help out a lot against any caster, uh, preferably if you can get them within range, that that ten um, that ten yard range of a healer. That's going to help out a lot. It even helps secure a kill. It's helped me a few times. It's helped. Uh, it helps. It helps out a lot of people. So definitely make sure you run a goat for stampede. And uh, our second to last pets is actually going to be everybody's favorites. Spirit Beast. Doesn't matter what kind of Spirit Beast, just make sure you have a Spirit Beast. He's going to give you Spirit Beast Blessing. He increases your mastery for 3,000. So 3,000 mastery within 100 yards lasts for a whole minute. It's another one that um, 
I mean, you can bring out right away, but I usually like to make sure that I have at least the Quillen and the Serpent out. Um, I feel like bringing out the Spirit Beast is kind of a waste of time. Those other two buffs are a little bit more important. Um, I feel they they provide a lot. I don't know. Me personally, I just feel like the Spirit Beast can wait until the actual Stampede is used. Um, he's also going to hook you up Spirit Mend. Spirit Mend heals you uh, for an initial pop of 8,534 and then an additional 5,326 over 10 seconds. Uh, then, our last pet, but certainly not least, everybody, every Beast Mastery Hunter should be running this guy right here, the Shell Spider. Shell Spider gives you the embrace of the Shell Spider, which is going to give you and everybody within, uh, well, within your party, doesn't have a range on it, um, strength, agility, and intellect, plus 5%. That's pretty killer. Another thing that's just going to increase that critical strike damage for you. And then, Web Wrap. Web Wrap. Web Wrap. Web Wrap. Web Wrap. Reb Rap. <laughs> Sorry. Reb. Fuck. Me. Web Rap. Encases the target in sticky web, stunning them for three seconds. Phenomenal. Last patch increased the cooldown to a minute and 30 seconds. Sucks, but it's still an awesome move. Good for trapping off. And uh, so those are the pets. Those are the pets you should be using on a regular basis. And uh, what we will do is we are going to cut to me using it on uh, on some target dummies here in Stormwind. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened to my arena footage or RPG footage. It is actually, uh, I think, kind of corrupted. Damn, look at this rogue over here going ham! on that target dummy. Anyways, we're gonna pop some stampede over here real quick. I'm gonna show you just kind of some of the damage that uh, that it's capable of doing. Also tell you a little bit of when I think you should use it or well, when I, where I use it at and how I use it. And uh, you can take it or leave it. So let's pop this bad boy on right here. Get it going. Get this guy running right over there. Pop and stampede now, and there it is. So uh, when I use stampede, I use it uh, a couple of different ways. Primarily, when I have a lot of CC, or when my team in general has CC, and we are able to uh, CC the healer and we have our main target down pretty low, I'll pop uh, Stampede and we'll secure a kill. Um, also what I use it for is to apply a massive amounts of pressure and causing them to pop cooldowns that otherwise they wouldn't want to use right away, uh, enabling maybe somebody else to start bursting away at them a little bit faster and, uh, and go from there. Um, other than that, I mean, I use it in RVGs just for damage. Um, unfortunately, I get stuck as a uh, defender a lot of the time. But that is um, that's Stampede in a nutshell. The main thing about Stampede is uh, is the pets that you're going to be using. Use it effectively, and also use it to either secure a kill when you feel confident you're going to get that kill, or when you need to apply massive amounts of damage to cause your opponent team to pop defensive cooldowns and uh, everything is going to lead up to clearly getting that kill and uh, getting the W. So if you guys have liked the video, you found this informational, educational, enlightening, whatever it may be, I greatly appreciate it if you were to go up top, click the subscribe button it only takes a second also to hit the like button 
leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you guys would like to, to see um, as far as what the next guide will be. Actually, speaking of that, the next guide is going to be on macros. Um, I have a guildy who is looking for my macros. He's having a little bit of trouble getting some solid macros himself, so I'm going to take care of him on that and the rest of you guys. So stay tuned, kitties. Daddy isn't going to let you down. I'm going to hook you up. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to make you guys better hunters. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I love you. Deuces. Bye-bye. Adios. Awesome manana. See you guys later.